What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. I'm here to proudly announce my first ever sponsorship with Short Circuit Gaming. If you guys do not know who they are, they're an esports organization team that actually has teams in PUBG and Rocket League, and they are proudly bringing me on board to be a lead content creator for their community. I'm super excited for it and cannot wait to get working with them. But what does this mean for you guys? For starters, we got extra content for you guys. Over on their page, I will be leaving all their pages down the uh, description below. They got a Twitter page. They are starting up on YouTube. They got a Discord thing. You guys should go follow them all over there. We're going to have extra content over there. We're going to have clips. We're going to be doing collab videos. We're just going to be having a bunch of new jeans content for you guys. So if you guys are interested in that, just go follow everything down in the description below. Another thing that's coming your guys way is giveaways. They're going to be helping me do giveaways to give back to my community and help you guys out a little bit. So super excited for that. And cannot wait to give back to you guys. And lastly, we're rocking with Rogue Energy as well. If you guys do not know what Rogue Energy is, it is an energy drink, kind of like G Fuel, but it's its own thing. You know, it's not G Fuel, it's Rogue Energy, but we're bringing you guys a 10% off code with code short circuit. I will leave it in the description below and I will leave it right on the screen. You know, your boys got you, but just wanted to make that huge announcement for you guys. And now we can get rolling with the video. Let's get rolling in today's video. We are obviously back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder for Series 12. But today, we got ourselves an absolute banger of a team. We are rocking out with one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, Sceptile. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, get on top of that. Click that big red subscribe button and join the community. It really does go a long way. So I'll give a huge shout out to each and every one of my subscribers. But let's get started here in that top left corner with the one and only Sceptile. Sceptile is such a cool Pokemon. Like I said, one of my favorites. And I feel like we're going to be using them to its fullest potential and picking up some big wins and some big KOs with this guy. We got Unburden alongside with the Lumberry, which is going to come up clutch with the Swagger Grimmsnarl. And then we got Leaf Blade, EQ, Acrobatics, and Protect for this moveset. Second Pokemon on squad is going to be that Grimmsnarl. Like I said, Grimmsnarl pairs perfectly up with the Sceptile due to that Lumberry and Unburden combo. We can Swagger it, boost its physical attack, confuse it at the same time. Lumberry is going to trigger, and then my Unburden ability is going to trigger as well. So at that point, my Sceptile is going to be boosted in attack and boosted in speed and ready to just dominate the battle. We also got Foul Plight, Sucker Punch, Scary Face, Swagger like I already mentioned, and then Prankster Wide Lens as its item and ability. Middle left is going to be Tapu Fini over here, and this Tapu Fini is looking really strong. We got the Life Orb alongside the Misty Surge, and then it's got a full-blown physical attacking moveset. We got Waterfall, Play Rough, Ice Punch for coverage, and then last but not least, we're Rock and Protect. Fourth Pokemon on squad is the lovely Zassian. Like I've been saying, one of the best restricted mods in the game. Interpret Sword, Rusty Sword, and then its normal moveset. Do I really have to say it? I will. It's Iron Head, Play Rough, Sacred Sword, and Protect. Can't go wrong with it. Super, super strong and works with any squad. Bottom left-hand corner is going to be Yvelta over here. And this is my favorite Yvelta set. It's pretty much like a support bulky Yvelta set. And it just works well in most situations. We got Dark Aurora alongside with the Soul Fest as item and ability. Oblivion Wing, Foul Play to do some big damage on those physical attackers. Then we got Snarl and Sucker Punch for first turn priority. Final Pokemon on squad is going to be Regilecki. Regilecki is here for nice lovely speed control and doing big damage at the same time. We got Transistor alongside with the Focus Ash as item and then Thunderbolt, E-Web, Bolt Switch, and Protect. There it is, guys. There's a the team preview. If you guys want to rent this code for yourself, rent the code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Sceptile Series 12 team. Let's get rolling here in battle number one. We're going up against a Kyogre and Solgaleo team that also features Tornadus, Indeedee, Mimikyu and Regilecki. Okay, so just seeing Solgaleo makes me have to bring Yvelta, even though I was probably bringing him anyway, due to foul play doing so much damage. But you know what? I'm leading the Sceptile. I'm leading the Grimstar. We're going to rock out here in battle number one with these two. We're going to bring Yvelta. And then I think Zacian is just the right call. Like, you can't go wrong with Zacian, right? Such a good Pokemon. So we have the Sceptile, we have the Grimstar combo, and then we have the two big dogs in the back, Zacian and Yvelta. Zacian can pretty much do big damage to any Pokemon. And Yvelta's here to in case that Solgaleo comes in. Foul play is super effective. It does a ridiculous amount of damage on a Solgaleo, especially if its weakness policy is already proc. So I'm really liking that. So we're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. And we're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. You guys know the deal. Before we even start our first battle, you guys know I like to ask a question of the day. That is, what off-meta Pokemon should I use next? Because I've been using a few off-meta Pokemon, so I'd love to get your guys' responses. Maybe I can use, uh, use a Pokemon that you guys are looking forward to. So definitely let me know your guys' answers in the comment section down below. Let's see who this guy leads. I'm, I'm actually curious to see who this guy leads. I think Reg Lecky might come in hot for that uh, speed control, but I could see otherwise. I could see otherwise. He's going to go in DD and Kyogre. I'm totally cool with that. Follow me. Come out here. We could get special defense boost. We could roll off from there, but I'm just going to uh, I'm just gonna swagger, right? Swagger, get that attack boost. Lumberry up. And we can roll off from there. I am digging that. I am digging that. Psychic Surge is going to poke here, but can, yo, can Swagger work with this? Can Swagger work in this terrain? I'm a little scared. Can it work in this terrain? 
it might not it might not but i still kind of want to go into it you know i still want to go into it i'm gonna follow me he's probably gonna poke out here i'm gonna go for the swagger we're gonna oh no if he follows me he follows me the swagger that is tough news that is real tough news i don't even think i dynamax right am i not dynamax i could dynamax go into max quake hmm just my player what is my play I think we have to get after you, right? Double down into this guy. Actually, we'll max Quake over onto the Kyogre. Yeah, because I need a special defense boost, and then we'll just foul play. And then we'll just foul play into that. Wow, dude. That indeed he really just really just did me dirty there. Really just did me dirty. But I'm still Dynamax and Septile. We are here to showcase this Pokemon. I'm Dynamaxing it, and we're gonna roll out from here. Probably not the best play. I probably should have saved it for my Yvelta, but I like to have fun around. We like to have fun around here. We like to look for some wins with some cool Pokemon. So I'm still going to Dynamax him. I'm just not going to use the Swagger combo and roll out from there. But we'll see what this guy wants to do. Follow me's probably got a poke out here, right? Or is he Dynamaxing Ogre? He is going to Dynamax Ogre. He might be dropping Hail on him. I'm hoping we can actually eat up a Hail Shell. We should be able to consider we're going to get a special defense boost. So I really do dig that. I really do dig that. We just got to remember we can't Sucker Punch in this terrain. So maybe I should have changed up the terrain. The terrain could have been really, really good for us. Changing up the terrain could have been huge for us. But he Dynamaxes Kyogre. I wish we would have went after Indeedee at this point. Hopefully he follows me. He does. Cool. So follow me. He's going to poke. I'm thinking we should be able to do a decent amount of damage onto this thing. But I don't know if we're going to even be able to take it out. This Quake's not going to do that much. It really isn't going to do that much to him. We're going to drop this Quake. Bill chipping up damage. Actually did a little bit more than I thought it would. And we can roll out from here. It's kind of tough that my uh, that my Sceptile outspeeds the Grim Snarl. A little tough on that end, but he's gonna end up throwing a hailstorm. He's gonna change up weather and he's gonna deal some damage over to my Sceptile. But Sceptile should be able to eat this, right? Should be able to soak that up. All day, all day. Special defense boost, doom, doing wonders. Doing wonders. And it makes me probably have to go into another max quake here, right? Just so we can eat up another hailstorm if he wants to send it. But we're gonna drop a nice little foul plate, build, chip up some damage onto that, and another foul plate should be able to take that out, which should be good. Hmm. What's my play here? What is my play? What is my play? Do we go for the Overgrowth or do we go for the Quake? I think Quake's going to be our play, right? We're going to have to Quake. We need another Special Defense boost, and I guess we'll just Foul Play down, right? Yeah. We got to double down. We have to double down. So play all day. Follow me comes out here again. We're going to send a Max Quake over, give another Special Defense boost, and my Sceptile should be able to eat up another Hailstorm. So if I can waste out his Dynamax turns, I take that as a win because we're going to pick up a KO here. This should be KO, right? Get him on out of here. Dope. Cool. So we take him out. Foul play is going to slide over, and we're just going to get moving from there. But it's so tough. He still has that psychic terrain out, which I really want to switch up. I really want to switch up. Really do. I would love to. It would be lovely. Hellstorm's going to fly. Again, we should be able to soak this up with this plus one. Or now we're plus two on special defense, right? Cool. We eat that up, and Buffets will not take us out. Gorgeous. Mwah. We love it. Foul play is going to poke. Chip up a little bit of damage. Better than nothing. And we're going to roll off from there. Okay. Um, how should I play this next turn, though? I can't scare you. Dude, the terrain's doing me so dirty. Hopefully he doesn't bring out somebody who's super, super fast. And that'll be my only problem, because I would love to get off one more turn with Septile. This thing's actually rather quick. So, we'll see who he throws out from here. He's going to throw out... Dun, 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 dun. Red Slash. God dang it. <laughs> like the fastest Pokemon out there. I could guard. But then Buffets take us out, right? Actually, no. Buffets win it, but what's, what's the point of guarding here? Guarding's really not going to do anything, right? What would guarding do? I don't really do much. How many turns left in the terrain? That's a real question. Three. Yeah, it's really not doing much. Really not doing much. I mean, we'll go for an overgrowth. Just try to chip up some damage. And then, uh... I mean, I guess we'll go for, like, a foul play or something. Just to get some more damage off. But yeah, we're sitting in a tough position. Just because of that psychic terrain. Really does me dirty. E-Web's gonna poke. And yo, Septile 8. Septile 8. No way. Thank you, special offense boost. Guys, go after. Go after Grimstar, please. Oh my god, we love it. We love it. That's a huge turn for us. That's a huge turn for us. We're going to get off a of max overgrowth. We're going to change up terrain. I can outspeed pretty much now. If I, if I go for a... Uh, what is it even called? A scary face. Yo, that's so big. Yo, Sceptile coming in hot here and dropping a big max overgrowth. Mwah, we love it. No buffets are on the field, so Sceptile's in here for another turn. I have Sucker Punch ready to roll here, too. Oh, dude, this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. Foul play flying through here. Yeah, send it. Chip up some damage on him. Oh, dude, what a, yo, what a great turn. What a great turn, because now I can Sucker Punch and take out whoever I want. 
I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Sucker Punch ready to roll, yo. Septile clutching up, yo. Those special defense moves from him were huge. Were huge. So we waste out his Dynamax turn. He has two Pokemon that are super, super low on HP. Sucker Punch can just take him out. And we're just gonna roll from there. Yo, my boy Septile grinding out here. Grinding out here. Leaf Blade we could poke. Uh, do I, I'm just gonna Leaf Blade you, and I feel like I have to Sucker Punch this Regilecki, because Regilecki is obviously the best. But yeah, we're gonna drop a Sucker Punch. We're gonna try to get off a Leaf Blade, but I do feel like he just takes me out here. Oh, he has extreme speed. Wow. He has extreme speed. So is Sucker Punch even gonna go? Wow. No way. Okay, Grimstone will dodge that. That's huge. No way he just dodges that like that. Extreme speed on a Regilecki. Get on out my face. So we're going to Sucker Punch over on the Kyogre. I'm going to bring out a Pokemon like Yvelta who can actually soak up some shots. Or do I just bring out Zassian? Zassian ain't too bad here. Yeah, I'm going to bring out Zassian. 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 Whatever you want to call him. Yeah. It's going to be a bite. And I think I might just Sucker Punch into Regilecki again. I might do that. I might do that. Just because if I sucker punch into him, do I? I mean, what's called should be able to eat up whatever. What should be able to eat up whatever. I'm just gonna go for a play rough here. Play rough into. Do I sucker punch? I feel like we have to, right? I feel like it's just our play. So we can get rid of this Kyogre. Yeah, I'm gonna sucker punch. Just in, just in case he doesn't go for an extreme speed. Maybe he thinks that like he's gonna do it again and I'm not gonna touch it. But I gotta stick with it. I gotta stick with the guns. Yep, good call by me. Great call by me. Sucker Punch comes through here. Picks up that big time KO. Now Zaskin can just outspeed. Take out Kyogre, no problem. And we're sitting pretty. We are sitting so pretty. What a first battle. Your boy rolls out with Sceptile. Skeptile clutches up too. Eats up some shots. And really puts us in the driver's seat. Because at like a certain time in the battle, it wasn't looking too hot. Until Sceptile ate up that E-Web, I was like, yo, we are in this to win it, baby. That's exactly what we're going to do. Turns into a 3v1. We still have the belt in the back. And it's going to be GG's. We have foul play ready to rock. We, we have all the moves ready to roll. We have all the moves ready to roll. So I'm just going to drop this. I'm not going to sucker punch. I'm just going to drop a foul play. And I think our opponent might just cancel battle, right? I think our opponent cancel battle? I think so. We outspeed him too all day. Let's not cancel battle. Wow, Sacred Sword comes in hot. Chips up some damage. And then uh, he's going to go with the Sun Seal Strike and take out my Grimstone. That's totally fine. I got Yvelt in the back. It's over. It is all over. But this move looks sick, though. It does look sick. I'll give it that. I'll give it that. The animation's so dope for that move. It really is. It really is. But he's going to recover a little bit of HP. Next turn, I'm just going to go into a Sucker Punch and a Sacred Sword. And that should be enough uh, damage to take him out. Actually, I could just go into a Foul Play because we should outspeed that. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just dropping a Foul Play. 223 HP, yo. Dude, this yo, Belta is just... It's a menace, yo. It's a menace. With Oblivion Wing to recover HP, it is just a menace. So we're going to Sacred Sword again. We're going to pop a nice lovely Foul Play. That's GG. He might just cancel battle, seeing you belt out on the field. Yeah, cancel battle. We start off 1-0. Second battle coming at you guys, and we have a problem on our hands. We have a problem on our hands. We're going up against an Ice Rider Calyrex Trick Room team that also features Alolan Executor, Kai Ogre, Zapdos, Indeedee, and Incineroar. I always struggle up against Trick Room teams, and I feel like it's going to happen here again. How should we go into this one? How should I play it? I feel like, um, boom, Zassian could be a solid lead, but I am scared of a lot of different Pokemon that he can go into. It is a problem. Trick Room is a huge problem. A huge problem. Like, I don't even know how we can counter it. I do not know how we can counter it. We could go Zashian just for a lead, try to get off some big damage there off the rip. But he could just go straight up follow me and kind of roll out from there. Again, could be a huge problem. <laughs> could be a huge problem, but we're going to go Zashian. We're going to go Yvelta here. And, uh, hmm. Tapu Finny? Or do we go Reggie? Reggie ain't too bad. Reggie Sceptile? I don't mind that. I don't mind it. Or we can go, uh, Instead of Sceptile, we can go top of Finny here. Yeah, I like that a little bit better. I like it just a, just a little bit better. Just a little bit better. But, yo, this is not looking so hot for us. This is not looking hot for us. First battle went well, yo. Sceptile rolled out there. Did some work. He did some work. Got us to victory. But the second battle... Jeans, no likey. He does not like it. But let's see who he leads. It's got to be like the Ndidi with like either the Executor or the Ice Rider Calyx. Pop a trick room, right? It's got to be that. Why is this taking so long to uh, load up? Why is my screen black? All right, I got this. This is how you do it, guys. Load in. Gotta work a little magic. Load in. And you do a little antennas. Do not disconnect me. Start the battle. Start the battle. 
Bro, yo, this is whack. I never had this happen to me before. We gonna DQ or are we gonna get battle on? This is jam though. Bomb, bomb. Hey, yeah, dude. <laughs> we jamming. We j get my battle start. What is going on? We definitely disconnected. There's no way. Oh, it started. <laughs> then run it, run it. Now we gotta win. We gotta win. We gotta win. We have to win now. Look at it. <laughs> what is up with that? That's weird. That is weird. That was like a full 30, 30 seconds of just like black screen. All right, let's get rolling here. Let's get. We gotta win now. We just had a dance party. We just had an absolute dance party. But follow me is obviously gonna come out here, right? <sighs> That's tough news. Real tough news. I wish we had like substitute. Substitute could be gorgeous. But now nah, we're just gonna have to go into Behemoth Blade. Deal some damage. Take out Ndidi, right? We have to take out this lovely little Ndidi. This lovely little Ndidi. But yo, dude, this battle is taking. There it is. There we go. I was gonna say, it's taking so long. We're going into Blade and we're dropping a Foul Play. I'll go Foul Play in there. Because if he doesn't follow me and we just get off this Behemoth Blade, we're just taking out Calyrex, no problem. We would just take out Calyrex, no problem. But yeah, I do think Follow Me comes out here. He pops a Trick Room. And then at that point, we kind of pose a two threats. We could double down into a. Uh, we could double down into uh, Calyrex with a foul play alongside with a, uh, a Behemoth Blade. But the follow me obviously comes out here. Behemoth Blade dropping. Can we take out Ndidi with one Behemoth Blade? That would be cool, but I don't think we can. I don't think we have enough mustard in the tank. Oh, it's Sash, dude. Oh my god. If this thing wasn't Sash, we would have been sitting so pretty. Get out my face, dude. Because that foul play would have dropped that thing. That, that foul play would have been gorgeous on that Calyrex. It would have been gorgeous. That lucky son of a biscuit. Rocking a focus ash on an Indeedee. That's rough. That's real rough. But he's going to pop the trick room. Um, he's probably going to go into Executor. Doesn't that Executor have like a... It has a sleep move. It has Spore, doesn't it? E. I remember because I used this team. I did use this team. I wonder what he's going to do here. I wonder what he's going to do here. I think, I think it has Spore, right? I know it has like... It's berry harvest and it can just constantly harvest. But I'm pretty sure it has like a sleep powder or a spore. Something to put Pokemon to sleep, which is an absolute pain. It really is. It really is. But dude, make a move. Throw out a Pokemon. You have two choices. Probably either Alolan, Executor, or... What was his other restricted one? Is it is it Kyrie? I think it's Kyrie with the squad. Let's see what he throws out here. Yeah, I knew we had Executor. That little biscuit. Yo, look at this thing. <laughs> Trick Room is thriving. Trick Room is thriving. But yeah, we got to double down into this thing. We go here, and we got to jump a foul play. It's our best bet. It is our best bet. Double down into it. Let's get rolling. Still kind of terrified because he's going to Dynamax his Calyx, but I don't know. Oh, we could have Dynamaxed already in Elton. That could have been a great call, but the Ice move. Ice move is going to do his dirty. He's probably rocking an Ice move alongside with the Steel move as well. We're not Steel move, a uh, Max Quake for my Zacian. So Hale would just take out my Yvelta, and then... uh. Quake could just take out my Zazzy. But yeah, he's going to end up Dynamax. He's going to end up Dynamax. So I told you guys from the get-go. This one's going to be tough for you. But we're hoping. We, we, we always we always hope. Calyrex comes through here. The best trick from Pokemon in the game. Hands down. Phenomenal. The thing is OP. OP in the trick room. It's just so strong. It's just so strong. Let's see what he does from here. Let's see my dude's play. Decorate. It does have sleep out. Look at this. Son of a biscuit, dude. Please do not. Go after, go after Zazzy. Can you double down in Zazzy, please? He double down into him. Go for Quake. He goes for the Hailstorm. Bye bye, you belt. Belt is definitely dead. Can you eat this somehow? 223? It, this battle's over. Like, what, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? I have Sceptile. Actually, no. Did I not bring Sceptile? I think I brought Tabu Finny. This is awful. This is awful. This is awful. I need to wake up, like, next turn. I need one turn sleep. Look at this. This, this, this one just hurts. This just hurts. That kid gets slapped up by the hell, but dude, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it, yo. Such a pain to play up against, especially when you have no counters for it. You have no counters for it. It's just rough. But again, dude, the the, the connection with this guy, it connected with me with him. It's going real slow. It's not even letting me pick a dude. Like, come on, yo. Let me pick a Pokemon. Let me pick a Pokemon at least. Let me please. There it goes. Okay, so we can go Regilecki and use Focus Ash, but it's not really going to do anything. I think we have to Dynamax you, right? Top of any Dynamax. <sighs> pain, pain, pain. 
yeah we're gonna have to dynamax top of fin here with the life orb we have to just throw it out there we have to drop a dynamax and i think we're gonna try to take out that uh that executor right yeah we gotta just get rid of it sleep powder's probably gonna come in here oh, dude, it's so it's so tough yo it's so tough with that executor in the trick room he's just like here yo you're asleep you're asleep everybody's asleep but we need a quick uh we need a quick turn sleep from zassi in here to pop out with the behemoth boy let's get rid of this calorie because that'd be real big we're gonna drop a starfall here we're gonna try to take out executor and we're gonna roll out from there that's our play all day we have to die max or, or we lose this hey yo but we didn't get swept we were able to take out that indeed but of course the indeed he had that focus ash that that really did us dirty right off the right off the rip because if i if he didn't have that focus ash that behemoth blade takes him out and foul play slides over on the calyrex foul play does ridiculous amount of damage to calyrexes and uh or ice rider calyrexes and uh solgaleos you ever you're ever going up against solgaleo or ice rider calyrex you have a foul play pokemon bring that boy in there just slap up on no problem no problem whatsoever but we're gonna dynamax the finny let's get buzzing let's get buzzing we're gonna see what he's gonna do brutal swing oh it's proc and policy it's proc and policy he is proc and policy no bueno no bueno no good this is no good taking out my zassian right yeah he's gonna quake into my zassian get that special defense boost zassian's gone now he's plus four this dude's plus four Hopefully we can take out Executor. If not, we're, we're we definitely lost. We need we need to take out Executor like right here right now. I can change up. I'm gonna have to change up weather next turn just for my red life to not die throughout like a focus ash. Yo, this is this is awful. Look at that. Yo, chilling Nate boosted. This thing's ripping. He's ripping. Starfall's gonna come out here. I'm hoping it can KO, but he's plus one on special defense now. Yo, cool. Executor gone. Executor out of here. We got a crit. I don't even think we need a crit. So that's a, that's a decent amount of damage. A decent amount of damage here. We're gonna take some uh, life orb damage and alongside a buff of damage. Knew it from the get-go. I knew it from the get-go, people. All right, so we're gonna have to bring out Regilecki. He's gonna have to bring out his final Pokemon, which is probably Kyogre, right? But Trick Room is still a thing. Trick Room is still out and about, and that's a huge, huge problem. Huge problem. So what do I do? He's gonna, he might double down on my Regilecki. I have to go for the Geyser. I have to change up weather. And then I have to go for like a, a Thunderbolt probably into like the Kyogre slide if he's rocking with it. We'll see. Yeah, Kyogre does come out here. So we're going to have to Thunderbolt into that. Hopefully he doesn't protect. But yeah, this battle is this battle is pretty much over. We do have the Focus Edge, which could come up clutch. But even when he's out of Dynamax, he can just drop a Glacial Lance. He's plus four. He's just going to tear through me. This dude's just going to tear through me. Terrified, man. I'm terrified. I'm terrified. We got to go into a Thunderbolt, like I said. And then we have to drop a Geyser. The reason we have to drop... Oh, uh, Rain's already there. Okay, so we still want to drop a geyser, right? Yeah, I'm still going to drop a geyser. I forgot. Kyogre came in there and changed up the weather for us already. That's huge. That is huge. So we're just going to drop a geyser. Just get off a bit more damage. But dude, this thing is just going to outbulk us and do some mean. Yeah, Quake flies through here. He's going to drop an Origin Pulse, right? Wrap it up. Wrap it up. It's GG's. It is GG's. I'm definitely going to oh. Unless he misses the Origin Pulse. That's like the only way out here. What a Water Spell. He's probably going for a Water Spell, right? Hopefully he goes for an orange pulse. Let's see what he does. Done. Oh, hold up. Wait a minute. Focus Ash coming in hot. Focus Ash coming in hot. Wait just a minute. Wait just hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. Yo, Thunderbolt. I need you to take I need you to take this thing out of here. Dump on it. Dump on Kyrie. Tell him to go home. He dropped the thunder. He dropped the thunder. Oh my god. We is this thing assault vest it? That thing absolutely soaked. That thing absolutely soaked. I get his plus one on special offense, but yo, that thing absolutely just soaked. That just soaked the move like no tomorrow. Like no tomorrow. Instantly soaked that up. Uh, how many turns is left in uh, Trick Room? If it's two, we definitely lost. If it's if it's one, we have a fighting chance. But again, the connection's going weird, dude. The connection with this guy is definitely weird. Super, super slow. We noticed that from the beginning when we had the black screens. But how many turns left in Trick Room? One. Hold up. Wait a minute. I have an idea. <laughs> let's let's try this out. Let's try out the let's try out the guard along alongside with the protect. Let's see if we can get buzzing with that. I'm not gonna give up that easy. We have a, if we have a fighting chance, we'll, we'll we'll fight for this one. We won't just quit. We will not just quit. You know I think it is over. I do think it is over because we are doing like no damage to Kyogre. We're doing like absolutely none. Absolutely not. I think we're gonna need some crits out here. Crits are like the only way out here. 
crits are the only way out. I'm just going to poke here. Blah. But again, Kyogre might just outspeed. It's actually the Kyogre second. No, Kyogre went, uh, yeah, he went second in the trip. I've here. Okay, so we're going to have to, I guess, Thunderbolt, right? Maybe go for a crit or a paralyze. Ah, this is so tough. We have to get double crit. <laughs> it's the only way, dude. We totally lost this one. We totally lost this one. But yo, this battle's so slow, man. This connection is so slow. It is so slow. Whack. But yeah, we're gonna have to go for a Thunderbolt. And then go into uh waterfall will do a bit more damage. Waterfall over into that thing. And luckily my uh, top of fitting is physical. Because he has he's he's boosted up on special things. He just boosted out on special things. So Thunderbolt's gonna fly. Give me a crit or just paralyze this thing. This thing's soaking. Give me a para. Give me the paralyze. No paralyze. Waterfall's gonna poke here. Can we get a crit or something? A flinch? We have flinch chance. We do have flinch chance. Flinch chance coming in hot. Nope. Origin pulse five sir. That's GG's. That is GG's. We got one and one. Let's hop into our third and final battle. Not a bad battle here, but we gotta hop into that third and look for a winning record. Third and final battle coming at you guys. Let's grab ourselves a winning record for today's video. Going up against a Zekrom and Zassian team that also features Grimmsnarl, Incineroar, Rillaboom, and Mimi Mimikyu over here. Alright, how am I doing this one? I feel like I can just roll straight into Septile, right? Septile Grimmsnarl, hit that swagger button. Let's get rolling with that. I definitely want to showcase it. We're going to go Zassian and Belta. I just like it. Lock it in, lock it down. Both are restricted and our Septile combo. I'm ready to run it. We're just hoping he's not leading Incineroar. Because, you know, Incineroar's a pain, dude. Incineroar is a pain. It really is. It really is, especially with Intimidate, but still, plus one with Sceptile, could do some work, could do some work. The Unburden, all that good stuff, I really did like it, but the Fake Out could just do it. We don't like the Fake Out. Let's see what he leads. He's going to end up leading Mimikyu and Sekron with it all day. Ready to roll. Let's go. Let's get after it. Okay, so from here, I could drop a Max Quake. Definitely drop a Max Quake. We definitely want to Swagger. He could Trick Room, but uh, I don't know if he's going to do it. I don't think he's going to do it. I do not think he's going to do it. Yeah, we're definitely swaggering here. I'll Dynamax, and I think we're just going to go straight for this. Straight for this into a, uh, into the swagger, and then I can take off the Mimikyu's, uh, disguise with, like, a Sucker Punch later. Kind of just go from there. Sucker Punch and then Overgrowth. I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. I do love this turn. So we're going to Dynamax. Let's get after it. Let's get after it. And is, uh, no, Zekrom's physical attacking, right? Yeah, Zekrom's physical attacking. So this Max Quake isn't really going to do anything up against these two Pokemon, because they're both physical attacking, but still. More damage, it's super effective. So we dig it. We dig it all day. Sceptile getting that lovely Dynamax. Beautiful, love this Pokemon. Dude, it's so cool. It's such a cool Pokemon. Especially it's a uh, Mega Form or Mega Evolution. Back in uh what was it? Gen 6? Right, Gen 6 came out with Mega. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or it or yeah, it came out in uh Gen 6, but then uh Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire brought them over into the remake. And then Sceptile had a Mega Evolution. I think all the Mega Evolution. Swamp Purple, he's getting that Sceptile, but Sceptile was just so dope. We're going to end up swaggering here. We're going to go plus two, though. Plus two on that attack board, which is huge. Which is huge, yo. Ducks are out here, but we say, hey, yo, let me eat this berry. Heal up on those ducks. We getting buzzing with Seppi. Seppi the Sceptile. Love it. Max Quake going to fly through here. How much damage are we really going to do? Good chunk. It's a huge chunk. Huge chunk on the Zekrom. A Dynamax Zekrom. A big old chunk. We get that special offense boost, and what's he gonna thri thrive into here? Let's just play. Fling. He's gonna fling. He's gonna fling a Lancet Barry over. Flinging his Lancet Barry over. He's gonna eat up. That's fine. That's cool. He's getting pumped, and he's gonna crit. He's gonna go for lightning, and who, who are you hitting? He's gonna hit up on my Grimstone. Can you eat this, Grimmy? Son of a biscuit. <laughs> that thing comes through. It does his little dirty, gets that crit, but still. Uh, we should be fine here. We have speed with Sceptile. Sceptile can KO there, and then we can roll into. Uh, I'd roll into Yvelta. Just kind of just pester around here. I'd like me some Yvelta action. Yvelta's going to come out here. We'll save our Zassian for the back end. Having Zassian in the back end is really, really good. So we'll target down that uh, Zekrom again. Go into a Max Quake. Finish that thing off. And we're just going to take off that... Uh, we're just going to take off that uh, Disguise. Or we're just going to take off Disguise. So Quake coming in hot again. And then... Uh, bump, 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 bump. Do we Sucker Punch? Do we Oblivion Wing? What do we really do? I think, I think I'm just going to snarl because he's going to take off this guy and we can chip up some more damage onto the other slot. And if he swaps a Pokemon, then maybe he'll swap it to a special attacker. So he guards here. I'm fine with that. Let me guard. And is he going to pop a Trick Room? He's got to pop a Trick Room, right? He's got to pop a Trick Room. Smart play. I'll give it to him all day. He's going to pop a Trick Room. That's looking a little scary for us.
Trick Room is definitely popping. Trick Room is definitely getting popped. You son of a biscuit. You son of a biscuit. You son of a gun. It's a great play if he goes into it, right? Is he gonna go into it? No, he will the is cool. Oh, but still, that's a little way. No bueno. No bueno, we're burned now. That's no good for me. That is no good for me. Uh, what do I do here? Airstream? Oh, no, I'm gonna overgrowth there, and you know what? I'm just gonna drop a foul play right into second. If we can, I thought he was gonna trick him. That's tough, because now, now our max quake will not take out Zekrom. Not even close to taking out Zekrom. So we might as well just hit up on the Mimikyu, get off as much damage as we can over there, and then allow the foul play to kind of slide over and do some work. Allow that lovely foul play to do some work. So overgrowth coming in hot. Probably should have airstream just to get speed, but the Velta might be able to outspeed Zekrom. And that does, uh, that does a decent amount of damage on the Mimikyu. Taking that. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Wow, dude, we were looking solid for a quick second there. Kill that burn. That was a good guard and burn. That was really good. But foul play's gonna poke. How much damage are we doing on this thing? Mm, we don't pick up the KO. I really wanted it. Will O'Wisk coming in hot. Yo, he doubles down on the Will O'Wisk. You son of a biscuit. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> he doubles down with that. And who's he gonna take out here? Who's he taking out with an airship? Oh, he's going for an airship. We actually could be able to eat this up. No, it's critting, isn't it? With the Landsat Barry. That's rough. Okay, so we have to take out the Mimikyu and keep our Zekrom. We're not our Zekrom. Get our Zassian out here. Because Zassian could totally clutch up this battle. He could definitely whip into this thing. Zekrom's gonna get that speed boost, but uh. Hmm. We have to sucker punch onto the. Uh, we have to sucker punch onto the. Onto the Mimikyu, right? I mean, are we gonna even be able to pick up the KO on that? It's so tough, yo. This guy's this guy's got us, doesn't he? Hope not. Hopefully we put up a fight. We can't get swept though. We haven't taken out a Pokemon, have we? We have not. We have not, so we cannot get swept. We have to keep rolling. We have to keep pushing through here. Keep rolling with the squad. But yeah, yo, that guard really just put him in a good position. If he did not guard like that and drop the will o -Wisp, we would have been sitting so pretty. We would have been sitting so pretty. But uh, do we think Zekrom outspeeds us? It might. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to Sucker Punch Zekrom, because I think Sucker Punch could be able to take that out. I think Sucker Punch can take out that Zekrom. I'm hoping. If it can't, we're, we're in some deep trouble here. We are in some deep trouble. Zekrom protects. That's fine. Can Zassian outspeed that Mimikyu? I think it can. I think Zassian can outspeed that Mimikyu. It does. Beautiful. So Behemoth Blade is going to fly through. We are, that's that's a good turn for us. We get rid of Mimikyu. I was just hoping that my boy wasn't going to get burned. We get rid of Mimikyu. Sweep's not there. We can Sucker Punch right in the Zekrom. But I don't even think Ze uh, Sucker Punch can KO that thing. He's going to get some more HP back from the uh, terrain. And Sucker Punch to take that thing out. It's going to be close. It's going to be close for sure. It's going to be close for sure. I could protect and go into a foul play. That is an option. But let's see what Pokemon he, he thrives into. We are, we are a bit fast here. We can go into Incineroar. So I am going to protect my... Uh, I am going to protect my Zass here. I have to. We might go for, for a fake out. And then we're just going to foul play across. I'm with it. I'm with it. Hopefully he makes it don't move. Protect. We're going to pop a nice little foul play. And we're going to get more. Lovely little foul play. We're just hoping he's not faking out Yvelta. We gotta hope that he fakes out Zassian. And then we can uh we can make a play on top of that. If he doubles down in Zassian. Woo! Woo! That could be lovely. But we can hope. We can hope. That comes out from Zassian. He goes for a fake out and he reads it. He reads it, you son of a biscuit. And what's he gonna do with Zekrom? After uh he goes for a bull strike. Okay, he goes after Zassian. Okay. I'm fine with that. Bolt strike coming in hot. Bolt strike coming in hot. And that's scary, dude, because the crits are thriving here. Things he's thriving with crits. Alright, we're gonna go into a uh, secret sword here. Yeah, we gotta do this, and then go into a foul play. It's like our only option here. That's what I'm scaring because yo, he has that Landsat Barry on him. He's just critting left and right. It's just tough. It is just tough. And he's plus one on the speed board, which should make him faster, right? Oh, he protects. He protects. Okay, I'm cool with that. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Sacred Sword's gonna fly through here. Chip up a little bit of damage. Probably half it, right? A little bit more, but he does have a berry, probably, right? He's not rocking a berry, unless he's rocking the figgy. The figgy berry. Should be nice. He's just gonna go into a flare blitz. That should be easy soaks. Should be able to soak that up. Right, Zassian? No, he doesn't. Get out of my face. Get out of my face, dude. I thought he was gonna be able to soak that one, but hey, yo, it's GG's. That battle was pretty much over. We needed like a big turn for us. And he survives on one HP. Come on, man. Now he eats his bed. Come on, man. Just rub it in the face. Just rub it in the face. But hey, one and two for today's video. Got the shelf and off meta Pokemon Sceptile. I love it. I'm gonna run this battle. And we're gonna go to the end of the video. Not too bad for today's video. Ended up going one and two and grabbing ourselves to lose record. But I wish we did grab ourselves another win.
We did win the first battle, dominate with Sceptile, but then the second and third battle just didn't go our way. Our opponents made some great plays, end up winning the battle, and grabbing ourselves a losing record. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.